you have joined our story here, hi, we're Becca and Zach. We bought our boat Tailey last March after saving for years. And after six months of figuring it all out in the UK, oh, we ditched the lines and really started the adventure. So come along with us for the highs, the lows, and absolutely everything in between. Because we're not just doing it. Bloody doing it. While in Martinique, we have received a few parcels to help with our off-grid life. One of those was a nifty little box called a Delta 2. So thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this vid. With us on the beach today is our EcoFlow Delta 2 portable power station. And now this is an actual awesome bit of kit. We've been using it for the last few months, but we want to tell you a bit about it because yeah, it's too good not to share. This gray box, which is only about 12 kilograms and about the size of a rucksack, packs an absolute punch. There's a one kilowatt lithium iron phosphate battery in here, along with an 1800 watt inverter that can handle 89 phone charges or run a fan for 30 hours whatever photo boat really. With the same type of battery as those nippy Teslas, you can rest assured knowing if you charge it daily, you can get 10 years use out of it, which really isn't bad. Any of our inverter, MPPT or solar brakes, we've always got a good backup for our home system within this. So you sometimes hear about boats getting struck by lightning. It's pretty rare, especially as we're a quite small mast boat, but it does happen. And obviously it can wipe out all your electrics. And I mean, we are hoping to go completely into the middle of nowhere and that just it can't be an option for us so this is a really nice kind of emergency backup for when the worst case scenario does happen if the worst case scenario does happen we've got this we know we can power our autopilot and our charts and yeah we know we've got this which is really nice we thought back to when we used to camp in the back of my car and a gadget like this would have been a lifesaver not only would i not have to worry about flattening my car battery but we could have actually had a heater on <laughs> rather than waking up shivering every morning Fancy that. The thing we really love about the Delta 2 is how versatile it is to charge. You can whack it into your 12 volt on your boat or in your car or on the main supply. This is super quick and it'll actually go from zero to 80% in just 50 minutes. Pretty outstanding. Or what we like to do is whack the solar panels on, which when the time comes, we will install our bimini top and harvest the energy from the sun. So yeah, we're really, really happy we partnered up with this awesome company to get people kind of off grid and not let things like power limit you to your adventures. So while the kettle's boiling, I thought I'd just show you a bit more of what's actually on this Delta II. We have two USB-A chargers, we have two fast USB chargers, and we have two USB-C chargers on this side and the screen. And then on this side, we have the input where you charge everything and we have four AC plugs here. This is the button where you can turn the AC on and off, and this is the button for 12 volt on and off. So if I open this, there you go, there's the 12 volt in there, which is super awesome. So we just got back from the beach and whacked the EcoFlow on charge, and we'll show you the app, because it's really cool. This is the EcoFlow app, and if you click 
we've named it Taily Backup Power Source. You click it and then you can see it's 87.92 and it's charging at the moment and it's got zero watts because it's super cloudy right now and we decided to plug it into AC so it's charging 410 watts of AC and you can see when you start plugging things in and using it you can see the output too which is super cool obviously it says zero watts at the moment because we don't have anything plugged into it but yeah you can customize everything you want basically you can say the charging speed you can up it to 1200 watts if you've got a bigger inverter and um, you can do a quiet charging mode you can do how much you want the 12 volt to pull from it the discharge level there's just absolutely tons of customizable settings but it's a really nice interface to use as you can see ac output dc output and the input sources so yeah really 10 out of 10 for the ecoflow app we really believe that the delta 2 would be a great addition to anyone's off-grid toolkit whether they're inside outside on water or on wheels head over to the link in our description to check it out As you know, for the last few weeks, we've been very stagnant on a dock, whilst redoing Taylor standing rigging. However, the job was done, and now it's time to get out, get exploring, and have some fun. <laughs> Started by hiring a car and driving an hour north to Carbe Falls, a little gem in the forest with a natural rock slide. <laughs> car after a really nice walk and swim. Did you have fun? He's eating Pringles. <laughs> but, okay, it was loads of fun. It's yeah. Nice, nice distance. Mm -hmm. But we're both really hungry now. We're finishing off the Pringles but they're not quite cutting it so I think we're gonna go back. It's kind of funny my feet are so wrinkly. We had Gore-Tex waterproof shoes which are yeah, super waterproof, which is great until you get water oh, over gosh. the top of them and then they just keep the water in. So we were walking around like Anyway, let's go home. That evening, we were actually invited on board another Colvic Victor anchored in St. Anne's. And whilst very similar, the Scandinavian interior and wooden masts made it feel a pretty different boat from Tailey. And yes, we did massively geek out at it. Zach, you've got to see this. This is amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. Pretty spacey, huh? Yeah. I keep on thinking how nice it would be or not if we would take this out or not, but I can't decide. I really like it like this. The other culvert that we know has this as well, this missing. <gasps> You've got a wood burner. Wow. You've got two doors here. Wow. It's the following day now. It is Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. And I'm on board at the moment just getting some jobs done, but Zach has gone to help our friends. They're on a boat and the engine won't start. And they had to sail in here. It took them pretty much, I think it took them like 12 hours from the rock to sail in because it's directly upwind. They got here, dropped anchor under sail, and they've been here about five days trying to sort it and they just can't. So they think they're gonna get it into the marina just so they can 
have someone look at it and <sighs> anyway it's blowing a bit today and Zach and all of our other friends here I think there's six dinghies have gone to tow it in up the channel I think it's three miles from here in St Anne's to Lemmer in Marina so yeah they're towing it in and I've got my fingers and my toes crossed about how it's going to go I'm thinking it's going to go well because there's six boats but it's also a little bit windy and a narrow channel with lots of reef and a ton of other boats I mean there's like a thousand boats in Limerin so yeah fingers crossed it goes well okay so I'll show you where we're going we're out here and we're going in here yeah and then I'm thinking that we'll go in as far as possible here before we cut in because the wind is coming in from here yes we're going in here okay do you know the berth already it's this berth right here okay so what I want to do is we'll, we'll use Thomas's boat to pull us in as far as possible yes uh, probably lose him about here and then yeah. use we've got one dinghy on each side so use those to motor in here yeah mm -hmm. and two other dinghies to be able to just free push the bow to push the bow or the stern wherever we need to go You want us to motor forwards on the chain as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see it, I see it, I see it. That's gonna yank it. Yeah, slow, 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 slow. Slow down. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Do you want me to give it some? Yeah, give it a oh. yeah, lovely. They're just putting up the slack now. Yeah, all right. There's tension on it. That's all right. No, 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 I've just got the, the radio is waterproof, so. I'll be alright. Yeah, whenever we're ready. He's saying slow. Okay, it's off one side. I'm motoring forwards a little bit down here. Yeah, just go slowly. Just yeah. The wind's died in here nicely. You guys see, this is the bird next to the catamaran. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. You guys go a little bit forward. Forward, full gas. Okay, I'm gonna need to stop. You're good. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. There we go, okay. Can you go backwards? Can you go forward? Yeah. Lovely. Don't turn, just straight backwards. I wanna go that way. Yeah, lovely, it's going, it's going. Yeah, we're good, yeah. Backwards as well. Yeah, backwards. Go forwards. Forwards? Stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> okay. Is the bow attached? Is the bow on? Yeah, bow's on. Yeah, you're all on. You're good. Okay, we're all attached. <laughs> Did you uh, turn off the engine? No, not yet. I just wanted to be here to stop the sugar scoop hitting. Yeah, I think just tie them up. Thank you very much. The cruising community are many things. They're your best friends, your mechanics, roadside assistants, fun providers, advice givers, adventure buddies. And if joining this new world has shown us anything, it's shown us that people are really good. They're kind, helpful, and when their sargassum hits the fan, they are all hands on deck. 
we're just walking down kind of parallel to the beach right now and there's so many different like family groups just listening to loud music and having barbecues and playing in hammocks playing in the water it's just a really nice environment how people spend, choose to spend their downtime i mean it's a monday afternoon so i'm not quite sure why it's so busy but why not Thank uh you. -huh. 